previously on Hell's Kitchen. After learning that they would host a high school homecoming dinner. Tomorrow night, right here in Hell's Kitchen. The chefs were challenged to create a New Orleans-inspired tasting menu. This year our theme is Mardi Gras. I want to see like Cajun influence. High school kids, as long as it has a lot of meat, a lot of grease, it works. T and Allison's shrimp and grits did little to impress the homecoming committee. The grits are a little watery. You know, I think it's a little bit salty. Like, just stab me in the eyeballs. The women hoped Megan's fresh fettuccine and andouille sausage would carry them to victory. That was amazing. It's very colorful, which is what I asked for. But it was Josh and Nick's chicken fried steak that won the challenge for the blue team. I gotta go with the blue team. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! We did it again as a team, y'all. At the Calabasas High homecoming dinner. Fucking hell. T's blazing start on the fish station had the red team in trouble early. Oh my god, I set the whole flat top on fire. But Megan took control of the red team. We have to go longer. Minute and a half, flip them. And led them to a successful service. Thank you. Impressing the student diners. This is delicious. In the blue kitchen, Josh tanked the first appetizers. It's full of white wine! We should trying to get them drunk? And Randy was a flaming mess on the fish station. That's what you brought me. Is it? Is it? There's no lobster in there. Is it? The men lost and quickly turned on each other. Stop fucking talking over me, Josh. You're a fucking dick. You don't have the heart or the balls to be a chef. They nominated... Randy. And... Josh. But Chef Ramsay surprised everyone. Josh, you're joining the red team. Well, Megan, you're going to the blue team. Keeping their dream of becoming head chef at Caesars Atlantic City alive. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Get out of there. Megan is finally gone. Now, I'm gonna step up as a leader. This is a great opportunity that has just fallen into my lap. Yo, holy shit. <laughs> what? What? What just happened? <laughs> Chef Ramsay sees the fight in me. I know what I'm capable of, and I know what I have to do to win. Ooh, it's on like Donkey Kong. Yo, this is good. Tell me I don't want to fucking crush the blue team now. I have to. Fuck yeah. Damn, that sucks, Nick. Yeah, for the girls, poor things. They can have Josh. That means one less loud cackle in the kitchen for me. I'm sorry, girls. Fuck yeah. See ya. Fucking see ya. Say fucking <laughs> peace. Good Damn. lord. Good morning, this is Allison. Chef Ramsay needs all you guys outside in front of Hell's Kitchen right now. Okay, Chef. Outside of Hell's Kitchen right now. Good morning. Good morning, Chef. Lana, please. I go outside and there's some shit under some black capes. The wheels are definitely turning at this point. Quick question. How many of you are confident in your palate? Good. Time to test your palates in the 14th annual blind taste test. And I brought back the dunk tanks right over here. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, God. Can everybody swim? I don't want no parts of this dunk tank. I've got it on dry drawers, a dry undershirt. I ain't trying to get it all wet up. Whilst one of you is competing in the blind taste test, your performance is not only going to affect your team's chances for victory, it's also going to have repercussions on your teammates. 
one of your teammates will be sat on top of the tank. If you get two correct answers out of four, your teammate stays dry. But if you get three wrong, your teammate gets dunked. Everybody understand? Yes, yes sir. Michelle and Megan, head to the dunk tanks. Let's go, T right. and Millie. Let's go, please. All right, T, let's go. Come on, man. Oh, God. In this, the only challenge Chef Ramsay brings back every year, the chefs must prove the strength of their palates by identifying as many foods as possible using only their sense of taste. Millie, can you hear me? T, can you hear me? The team with the most correct answers wins the challenge. Number one, let's start off with something easy. Chicken. <sighs> Texture. Taste. Turkey. Uh, wrong. Chicken. Chicken. Well done. Next one. Pears? Uh, oh, man. Wrong. Apple. Apple. Ooh. Correct. Megan, you are staying dry. Oof. <laughs> How are you feeling, Michelle? Get too right. <laughs> this water is really fucking cold. My toes are cold, my feet are cold. I mean, I want to get dunked in water today. I just did my hair. Come on, T, you can do this. Next one. Count. Carrots. Huh. Carrot. Last one. Cauliflower. Mm. Cauliflower. Yes. Yay, I don't have to go in the water. Good job, T. Can I get down now, please? Cauliflower. Well done, Millie. Yeah, four know. for four. You have a palate, young man. Thank you, chef. Oh, yeah, four for four. Boom, here y'all go. Perfect. I could be Helen Keller in a blind taste test. Okay, time, Alison and Randy, take your place in the dunk tank. Joshua and Nick, let's go. Let's go, Chef. Excuse me, ladies. I'm very confident in my palate. I mean, I've been eating things since I could walk. Lobster. Come on, guys. You work with it every day. Mmm. Lobster, Chef. Crab meat. <sighs> Easy one. Celery. Celery, Chef. Great job. Alison, you are dry, young lady. Turnip. Here we go. Uh, Randy, get ready, bud. One more wrong, and you're dunked. Spinach. <laughs> Parsley, chef? Close. Randy's going to get this? Not looking very good, is it, chef? Lettuce. Bye-bye, Randy. <laughs> 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 All right, Randy, get out. <laughs> American cheese. Come on, Nick, you've got to get one right. As a former fat kid, you know, every sandwich I had had American cheese. <laughs> so I knew it right away. American cheese, chef. Well done. Three or four. American cheese. Oh. Sorry, Randy. Josh has delivered a strong performance for his new team. Uh, Josh, well done. Thank you, sir. And the score is now tied. Five to five. T and Millie. Now it's your turn to take the seat of the dunk tank. Michelle and Megan, your turn to taste. Let's go. Ah. Let's go, T. I really want to beat Megan. She needs to be humbled. She's not the queen bee of all of us. Strawberries. Peach. <laughs> Pineapple. Oh. Yikes. Macadamia nut. Peanuts. Uh. Macadamia nuts. After two wrong answers. Potato. Michelle's palate, or lack thereof, has left T on the edge of her seat. OK, T. You going to stay dry? Yeah, chef. Sure. She got this. Don't overthink it. Oh, no. I'm tasting, 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 but all I can taste is fucking nuts in my mouth. Potato? Potato. Potato? Wow. 
Millie, you're dry for sure. Egg whites. Egg whites. Egg. Well done. Headsets off. Eight to seven for blue. It's the final round, and with the red team down by one point. Josh and Nick down to the dunk tank, please. It all comes down to the matchup of Allison and Randy. Let's go. This is probably the most nervous I've been on a competition because some ingredients I just, I'm afraid I won't even know what the hell they are. Fresh tomatoes. I'm just gonna have to make my best educated guess. That's gonna be it. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yes. Oatmeal. Steel oats. Josh, you're staying dry. Rice. Nine to nine, guys. Every ingredient is important. Butter, nut, squash. Uh, a yam. Come on, Randy. Potato. Nine to nine. Come on, Allison. It all comes down to this. Come on, Allison. <laughs> Got this. Onions. A scallion. Uh, Wrong. It's an onion. Randy, it's all on you, buddy. Come on, Randy. I'll go, Randy. Get it wrong. 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 Oh. A leak. Uh, oh. Goodbye, Nick. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Way to return the favor. Randy, I thought you were going to do that for your team. Me too, Chef. After four rounds and 16 ingredients, the teams are tied at nine, forcing a sudden death tiebreaker. Millie, Josh, step forward, please. Let's go. As the chefs with the best performance from the early rounds step up to represent their teams. Allison, Megan, head to the dunk tank. Let's go. Their partners assume the position as well. Black holds on first. <laughs> well, it's sudden death. It's me and Millie. This is my competition. This is my challenge. I'm going to prove myself on the red team and make the blue team miss me. Because this is a tiebreaker, one wrong answer, and you'll dunk your teammates. Oh, I hate my life sometimes. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, Millie. Zucchini. Rutabaga. Ah, fuck. Good boy, Allison. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck, the water is cold. Zucchini. What? Millie can win this. Ah. Here we go, guys. Stand by, Megan. Millie from Philly. Oh, God. No. I gotta see. Pear, chef. Oh, pears. Bye, Megan. <laughs> Bye, <bro>. <laughs> Meg Bird. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like a wet rat. Zucchini. It's still a tie. Avocado. Josh thinks he has it. Dashes. Avocado. Hi. Here we go. If Millie gets this wrong, the red team have won. Come on, Millie. Potato show. Potato. <laughs> Megan, goodbye. <laughs> Heads that off. Well done, Josh. You won a few team. Yeah! Megan looks like a fucking raccoon right now. Her makeup is all smeared. It's actually kind of satisfying. Nice. <laughs> yes. Welcome, Josh. Thanks. You got me wet, but it's OK. Josh, well done. You won it for your red team. What a time to win it. I have arranged for all of you to enjoy some of the best caviar in the world at Petrosian. <laughs> This tasting menu is exclusive and costs over $1,200 per person. 
<laughs> now, you'll also be going on a shopping spree. <laughs> yeah, I love the girls' really? team. <laughs> Josh, <laughs> get over here. <laughs> Here's two thousand dollars. The chef should take. That's crazy, chef. <laughs> Caviar, and then shopping, like, fuck every other reward. It's just beyond amazing. Thank you, chef. <laughs> Routine. We are hosting a unique dinner tonight in Hell's Kitchen for two very, very important charities that are near and dear to my heart. And we are going to give them one memorable evening. First of all, you'll be setting up the dining room. <laughs> Move every single table and chair out of there and then you'll carry in the two very large 12 tops. Also, I want you to make an incredible sangria. Start off peeling and chopping pineapples, pears, apples. I want each and every grape peeled. <laughs> you've got a lot of work ahead of you. Red team, you've got a lot of shopping and eating to do. Go and get changed. This is not the best start on the blue team for me. It's really not a good feeling. I got that fun! I got that fun! Good job, Josh! Thank you. I can, uh, I can start dicing apples. I'll start zesting citrus. I'll start peeling grapes. I'm gonna get like the record for most challenges lost. Punishment, you know, it just, it follows me wherever I go. On the red team or the blue team. Maybe I'm bad luck. fuck himself. That's how I feel about that. I figured I'd wear blue in honor of Nick. Josh is just a little shit and he likes to rub it in everyone's faces. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see Josh win anything. So annoying. Aww. Hi guys. Hi. Welcome to Petrosia in West Hollywood. Congratulations on winning your reward. Thank you. Thank you. We've spared no expense with the caviar. This is single-handedly the best thing that could be happening to the red team right now. We're loving life, we're feeling good. Oh my God, amazing. All right, everyone, here we are. That team goes for $1,065. <laughs> right, I, I'm gonna like, yeah. wow. That's the best right there. This is by far the most expensive lunch I've ever had in life. The food was definitely exquisite. Hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. As the red team celebrates their extravagant lunch. Okay, enjoy your lunch. All right, thank you, Maruna. See you in a bit. The blue team is just happy to get a break. Do you want ham or cheese? The ham and cheese are. But one member of the blue team can't seem to give himself a break. That was my fault. I don't know why I just didn't say freaking onion. You all got shit wrong. I could have went for the shopping spree, but uh, I don't know about sitting there eating fish eggs. As the blue team reluctantly resumes their punishment duties, <laughs> I want to go shopping. The red team eagerly arrives for their shopping spree. <laughs> I'm shopping on Melrose. I can't believe this. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Kitson. Please shop. I gotta have these socks, dude. I'm a sock lover. It's not horrible, right? Freezing winter in New York. That's so cute. Yeah. So fun right now, just shopping with all three of my teammates. Yeah, this is super cute. Michelle, the girly girl, like, oh my god, look at this. This is so cute. This is amazing. T, look. Oh, yeah, that's really super fedora cute. Oh, snap. In the city. <laughs> it was fucking epic, like, just running around and looking at stuff. <laughs> what? I spent 500 bucks, and this is all I have to show. <laughs> we have definitely bonded as a team. We're definitely going to kill it at dinner service. Oh, yeah. Where they want the tables? In the, the hallway. hallway. I don't know if we're stronger or weaker not having Josh. Josh is a strong player, but so is Megan. She's smart, good chef, so we'll see. This is ridiculous. Ugh. Which one of these fold up? Kick them in. In this way? Yeah. We may have lost the challenge, but the red team can have Josh. I'll take Megan any day. Ugh. Shit. Oh, God. Ah! You got it? I got it. All right. All right, we're gonna have to put this down. 
The red team, on the other hand, Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is just returning from their shopping spree, relaxed and ready for the evening ahead. Hey, Megan. <laughs> wow, Megan's like, fuck you. I was extremely disappointed that I didn't get to go on this award. I can spend $500 in like 15 minutes. Oh, look, really. Fitted's cake sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the cakes. You would have loved it. <laughs> Keep on cheap for days. <laughs> Losing this challenge sucks. Keep on cheap. <laughs> Red team, line up please, let's go. Yes, Chef. Uh, blue team, line up please. Right, red team, blue team, how are you feeling? Good, Good Chef. Chef. Tonight's a big one, as you know. I decided to close Hell's Kitchen to the public because we have two very worthy charities. Both tables will be receiving a very exciting five course meal. So, five courses, one course each, and then you step up and all jump on the desserts. So, it'll be your job to lead your team in getting that course out perfectly cooked. I want to see leadership. What do I want to see? Leadership. Get on your station. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go. Marina. See, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's Super go. Dark. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen is hosting a special dinner honoring major contributors and fundraisers to two special charity organizations Step Up Women's Network. Look how gorgeous this table is. Welcome. And actress Fran Drescher's Cancer Schmancer Movement. Welcome. Hi, nice to see thank you. you. Guests will dine on a special five course meal featuring a lobster risotto appetizer prepared by Allison in the Red Kitchen and Randy in the Blue Kitchen, a tuna niçoise salad from Josh and Millie, pan seared salmon cooked by T and Nick a New York steak overseen by Michelle and Megan, and finally, a chocolate tort dessert, which will be handled by all the chefs. Alison. Yes, chef. Two seconds. Randy. Yes, chef. Come here. The plan is for the two charity tables to be served at the same time, so Chef Ramsay expects both kitchens to do whatever it takes to be in sync with each other. 12 stunning risotto. How long are you going? I'm going six minutes. Six minutes. Six minutes good? Can you do that in six? Risottos? Sure. Yes, yeah, six, six minutes. Let's go. Yes, Let's chef. go. Six minutes, Josh. Guys, six minutes, I'll give you a countdown. This is my station, I have to own up to my dish. There's no fear right now, I can't be nervous, I just need to rock out with my cock out. Like, we're in there like swimmer, let's just do this. Two minutes, two minutes till risotto, two minutes till risotto. See, you drop the lobster? Yes, lobsters are down. While Allison takes charge of the risotto in the red kitchen. Putting mascarpone in now. Over in the blue kitchen. A little bit more stock. Make sure we all taste it since we're all touching it, okay? Randy seems to be cooking his risotto by committee. Oh, I'm gonna need more parmesan. Now, too many making the risottos, too many different flavors, so be careful there, guys, yes? Okay, stand by, get ready to go to the pass, we'll go get 12 plates. Heard. Okay. Millie, really, do you wanna grab 12 plates? Oh, I'll drop these it. in a minute. I went from never cooking risotto to now it's probably one of my favorite things to do. Hopefully, I can knock these risottos out and get them out at the same time as the grill. Let's go, 12 risottos, walk to the pass. Results down, quick. So, two the same color, light and light, light. They're not the same taste. Get them all into one pan, then divide it into two. So you've got, collectively, Bird. yes? Bird. That was my bad, I shouldn't have done that. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. He has two more pans, right here. While Randy works to get all 12 of his risottos seasoned identically. And he's just a little bit more. In the red kitchen, Allison. Come, let's go, let's go. And right, we're guys, walking. Yep. Delivers her risotto to the pass for plating. Shake the plates, okay, T? Come on, come on, come yes, on, come on. Shake the plates. All right, let's keep it moving. Come. Lobsters, please. And now back in the blue kitchen. Randy, just start plating, buddy. You gotta yeah, start plating. Plate. Randy has corrected his risotto and has begun plating as well. There's not enough on these and there's too much on that one. Why have we got 16 plates of risotto out? No answer. Randy. Eight, nine, ten. Hey, who got 16 plates out? They're idiots. I just want to wring their necks. Replay, please. That's on Randy. That was Randy's dish. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Three more. Come on, can somebody help me? I need three plates. For God's sake. I really just want to grab people by the throat tonight and just take them out of the kitchen. It'll be an easy kill. Randy, what is this? As Randy tries to get his plating system together. Yeah. Red team, go. Go, please. Allison's risotto has met Chef Ramsay's standards and is making its way to their VIP guests. Cooked it to perfection. This is really good. And with Randy's risotto lagging behind, the VIP table for the blue team is feeling ready to step up. I say we just go grab a chef's coat and go back there and help. And let me tell you how much help I am in a kitchen. 
Come on, guys, please. Yes, Chef. Go, please. Blue team, go. Fortunately for them, they won't have to. Oh, that's so good. Hey, set up for the tuna niçoise. Yes, Chef. 12 plates. In the red kitchen, Josh is ready to take the lead on the tuna niçoise. Four and a half minutes. Tonight's my first dinner service with the red team, and my tuna needs to be perfect. Pull, pull them off. Pulling. I'm not here to step on any toes, but tonight is about leading the red team to victory. Josh, they're over. They're over? Yeah. No, they're good. Get the best ones. Here, this one's good. This one's good. This one's good. OK. Josh, at the end of the day, it's your dish, and you're the one that has to own up to it. Some of these are so over. There's no tuna yet. I need the tuna. How long? How long? Come on, Josh. Yes, chef. Tuna right beside. Tuna heard. These are all overcooked. Look at that. What the fuck? Well, that's overcooked. Okay. No, it is. Yes, chef. Fucking hell. Why is it all overcooked? Yeah. How many you got? I have some more tuna. Overcooked tuna, Josh. Yes, chef. It's working. Oh, man. While Josh races to sear some more tuna, over in the blue kitchen, Millie has enlisted the help of his teammates for final plating. Tight, 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 tight plates. Nick, 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 Nick. But maybe he shouldn't have. Show me that cloth. Yes, sir. Hey, come here, you. Yes, sir. It's dirty. I shouldn't have done that. He is wiping your plate with that fucking cloth. Sorry, Millie. I, yeah, I was using the freaking rag like an idiot. Oh, Jesus. Hey, up we go, Millie, please. Yes. Service, please. Yeah. I can't believe that, Nick. Let's go. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Very nice, Millie. Well done. Yeah. As diners on the blue side dig into their second course, it's delicious. diners on the red side are still waiting for their tuna. Red team, blue table are eating. This is exactly what I didn't want to see. Hey, would you mind explaining something Hold to him? Pardon me. Marino, I'm coming as fast as I can. Can you just give me two minutes, please? I'm sorry. Two minutes. Fran Drescher's table. I'm very sorry. Do not despair. Your food will come out. Oh, yeah, we're fine. Yeah. But we don't want to make our chefs nervous. Like, are you kidding me? I forgot how to cook tuna. I mean, come on. It's one of the easiest things to cook, you know? They're done, they're done, take them out. Hopefully I can bounce back. Come on, Josh. Come on, girls. Just stop, just stop. Hey, Red Team, come here. Come here, come here. Yeah, fucking hell. Look, look at the difference. Yes, Chef. That is overcooked. Canned tuna has more moisture, more texture. Yes, Chef. It was a disaster. Josh really fucked up. I'm not serving that. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Do you have more? There's another one overcooked. Here's another one. Yes, Chef. You have more Jesus tuna on? Christ. It's all overcooked. This is all the tuna I have? I need more tuna. I need hey. more tuna now. I need like a lot more. Here, Trent, use this one. This one's good. Come on. I told Josh it's overcooked and he didn't want to listen. Our ass is grass. Oh my god. Can I go grab some tuna from them, sir? Can you go and grab some tuna? I'll be run out. There's 20 pieces. What in the fuck is going on? Oh, well, it's getting crazy in the kitchen. I swear to God, all four of you. Fucking go upstairs and Andy and I will finish. Yes, sir. Get on the same page. Yes, sir. Hurry up, you. All right, let's go. Millie, I need tuna. Oh need my tuna. god. I was excited to go to the red team and prove to them that I am a leader. Embarrassing ourselves. Let's go. And uh, yeah, I got my teeth knocked in. Go, please. With the tuna course finally making its way to the Red Kitchen Diners. I want to take a picture of this, it's so nice. The spotlight is now shining on T, who will attempt to lead her team on the salmon course. Change gear, let's go. Six minutes to the window. I'm just ready to bust it out right now. We can't be defeated, we can't hold our heads down. We have to bounce back. T, don't, 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 don't turn it over. You know how to cook the salmon, right? Excuse me, yes. 90% skin side down. Yeah, Her. but it's not. Josh, skin side. I got it. Okay, that's fine. I got Take it. care. My call, Josh. You got my it. call. Take care of it. All right. Who's cooking the salmon? Chef, I am, Chef. While T defends her turf and cooks her salmon, over in the blue kitchen. I can go, go with Nick. The yes, Chef. Pulling out salmon now. It appears that Nick's salmon is ready for delivery. Only pick the best ones. Wipe them off, please. Yes. Shit, the skin's not crispy on these. Okay, Nick, let's go. Come on, y'all. We need I need a minute. Right the skin's not yeah, crispy on these. Go. It's cool. No, it's not. So if one or two of the same are fucked up, and guess what? My ass is on the line, so I'm not gonna let that happen. If it's not perfect, I don't wanna put it out. I need 30 seconds on these three. Come on, Nick, please. Don't let me give me them. You're don't not ready yet. Okay, it's okay. While Nick pursues perfection on his salmon, back in the red kitchen. Please, T. Yes, chef. Walk into the pad. T's salmon is being plated. Garnishing tea? Heard. Check every plate. Let's go. Service, please. T's strong leadership and confidence has paid off. Back in the blue kitchen. Come on, please. Yes, chef. Nick is doing his best to keep pace. Service, please. Up we go, Nick. Yes, chef. Make sure nice and clean. Thanks, guys. And now that both tables have received their third course. This is phenomenal. 
All eyes are on Megan and Michelle to lead their teams on the final course before desserts, New York Strip Steaks. Head up to the pass, lay out all the plates. One minute after that, start doing the grease, please. Okay, Herc. Let's go. Yes, Chef. Michelle, I would put your steaks in now and let them rest. I don't need Josh telling me what I need to do, especially when he fucked up his own course. When are you going to put your steaks in? Who's cooking them? I'm sorry. You're telling T how to cook the salmon? I mean, did anyone teach you how to cook the fucking tuna? Yes, I, I messed it up. Yeah, no, but it's just, I think she can cook a new okay. strip, personally. Thank you, Chuck. Fuck you, Josh. We have three minutes to the window, guys. 12 plates, let's go. You want 12 plates or 18 plates? Come on, I'll man. Get them out. Come on, I'll get them out. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Trust me, I will do it right. I'm so disgusted with my team right now. They screwed me over. Everybody should be able to count to 12. Take Thank that. you. All right, and then I will come behind you with sauce, yes? Yeah. Let's go. These plates look really good, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Go, please. Thank you, Megan. All right, guys, let's jump on desserts, yes? While the blue team preps for their final course. No, don't touch my stuff. I'm taking your nuts. Oh, wow. <laughs> Over in the red kitchen. Yeah, I think I got it. There is one thing holding them back. Where's the fucking beef? The speed of it. We're all waiting on you. Wait, no. See, that doesn't look like any of the other ones. Now I got all the other ones right. I don't know why you couldn't follow. Shut the fuck you, okay? Seriously? Good job, guys. We got it done. Michelle's organization made up for some clumsy last minute plating, and the red diners are enjoying their steak entree. Steak is true. And now the red team must come together to finish dessert. What happened? That was the smoothest going course. Right. Fuck up out of here. Bullshit. I just want to slap her across the face. No, Shut we're not arguing up. about this right I'm now. Let's clean up and do dessert. I'm not yeah? arguing with you. We're don't, not don't, arguing don't, right don't now. Don't yell at me. Keep focused. That's all I'm saying. Well, you don't listen. I'm not going to shut up because my team thinks I talk too much. Fuck me, man. You do that shit every fucking time. T, don't even start with you me. Know? Let's just do this fucking dessert right now. The only people we're hearing is you. Just don't, okay? The only people we're hearing is you. Now, Shut you know what? I'm going to. Tonight, Hell's Kitchen is hosting a special dinner honoring two amazing charities. I wonder what flavor this is. And as the VIP guests enjoy the final course of the sweet chocolate torte. Whatever it is, it's delicious. Things aren't so sweet in either of the kitchens. Oh, rip the damn fucking heads off. We can't put anything else on this guy. I wasn't gonna put it there, Michelle. I'm just letting you know. I'm just, I have eyes. I can fucking see. See, I don't. I'm just saying, just I can calm see. Calm down, please. Just, no. Can you please just take a breath for me? Will you lower can your you fucking voice and don't talk to me then? What's the matter? Huh? What happened? What's the matter? Seriously? Well, you guys said Come here. You guys act like. I, I said what I wanted to at the very beginning. I said at four minutes, I'm gonna ask for 12 plates to be taken out, right? Okay, stand by, get ready to go to the pass. We're gonna get 12 plates. Heard. Okay. Millie, do you wanna grab 12 plates out and I'll drop Heard these it. in a minute? That's all I had to say. I didn't have to say anymore. Did you think it went that way? Yeah. We're responsible for our own dishes, so at the end of the day, you should run up there and count recounted them. That's it. End of story. And you have to pay no. attention to every single detail when you're a chef. No problem, I tell you what. If I leave, I leave. If I stay, I'm telling you right now, you are not gonna like me tomorrow or tonight. What are you talking about? What are you talking no, about? No, we're trying to sabotage with plates. There was too many plates. I'm just to... telling you. Okay. What are you talking about? I don't know. I've got along with everybody till now. What, what did you we do? You won't like me tonight. Cool. I'm with that. We could just talk food from here on out. Matter of fact, you ain't got to start liking me from right now. Since you want to wait till the night or wait till tomorrow, right now, food only. Randy, flip the fuck out. If that's how you get when shit don't go your way, then that's who you really is. Ladies, line up, please. Tonight's service gives me a great indication on how individually you can lead and who is a team player. Both charities left here extremely happy, and we did put on a great menu. But let's be honest, guys, it wasn't without mistakes, right? But there was one kitchen that had the edge, but trust me, it was by a very slim margin. The winning team tonight is the blue team. The red team, I want all of you to come to a consensus on the two people up for elimination. Get out of it. We were supposed to work together, but there's too much petty bullshit going on in the red team, and I don't have time for that. Nobody was on the same page tonight, and it sucks. Okie dokie, homies. 
Let's start. What's your vote, T? Josh, I gotta go with you for that overcooked tuna. If the tuna was cooked perfect, it was the best dish. It was the smoothest dish. But it wasn't. It wasn't. I'm just telling you. Your shit was overcooked and it stalled us, so it's a fact. There's no hiding. Did I fuck up? Of course, of course. But when it comes down to it, a kitchen is ran by communication and listening. Listening. In a kitchen, it can't be about yelling and bickering and attacking people. We have to realize why we're here. We're here to do a job. Yes. Those people out in the dining room don't give a shit what the problems are. They don't care if you like each other. They want the job done right, and they deserve it. It's really hard to communicate with people who aren't listening. You can't. Well, the only reason in. I'm trying to talk right now. Go you're ahead, fucking cutting me off. So that's crazy. You're not even listening to what I'm I saying am now. Listening. You said the communication you're between us is terrible. You're already talking to me. She's listening right I'm now. I'm listening to you. You're talking. I'm listening. I'm to talking. You, you asked me for my opinion, and I'm giving it to you. You're still talking. You have the floor, Josh. I'm done. Josh is looking like an asshole, trying to pass off the blame when he cannot cook tuna. I'm not the one that starts arguments with T. T is the one that yells at me. So, so stop. Somebody has to stop, stop, though. I don't know who deserves to go home. I mean, Josh completely screwed up tonight. But T and Michelle, the two of them arguing, we cannot have that stupid drama. I'm not this far in the competition. At the end of the day, the two weakest links need to go. After losing by a very small margin, the red team was asked to nominate two chefs for elimination. Michelle, red team's first nominee and why? Our first nominee is Josh Chef. The tuna steak, he didn't execute it as well as he should have, and it halted us in the kitchen. Second nominee and why? Our second nominee is myself, Chef. Self. Yes, Chef. My team feels like I don't listen as much as I should. Josh, Michelle, step forward. Josh, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, what happened last service definitely affected my confidence in a negative way. But when I do cook with confidence, I am the best chef here. I feel like the team did listen to me and we did communicate together. T was on point, Allison was on point, we were all working together. And Michelle, uh, you know, when she was listening, she, she did good. Michelle, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm very consistent with my techniques. I do a really good job cooking and I feel like I do communicate with my team. Sometimes I don't listen because this is a competition. I need to stand on my own two feet, and if I listen to everyone all the time telling me what to do, then I'm gonna look like a fucking pussy in the kitchen. I'm sending home the person who did not have control of their course. But more importantly, they never really bounced back. Michelle. Back in line. Josh. Yes, Chef. Back in line. Yes, Chef. Randy. Young man, get over here. Yes, Chef. You have been one of the fastest learners. I've ever had in Hell's Kitchen. You've done your family proud. Thank you. You've done your country proud. And you've done me very proud. But yes, sure. you're not ready to be my next head chef. Yes, sure. chef. It was a pleasure. Thank you Likewise. very much. I appreciate it. Thank Thank you. Buddy. Bye, Bye, Randy. Bye, guys. Bye, Randy. Take care, Randy. Hey, thanks, Chef. I really felt like my team hung me out to dry, but my head is held up high walking out of here. I just wish I had more experience in the kitchen, because if I could combine that with my leadership abilities, there was nobody in here that would have stood a chance. Surely you must realize that you are all close to joining a very elite club, the Black Jackets. But I'm not sure how many black jackets I'll be giving out this year. 
That is entirely up to you. Get out of here. It's down to seven, and I can smell the black jackets. I should have gone home, and I didn't. So now, what do I have to lose? Randy, you didn't stand up like a man, so you had to go. It's just one less person that could stand in my way. I got to shine hard. Sometimes I do have an attitude, but I'm a leader, I have the skill. I deserve to get a black jacket more than anyone on the red team. I'm not going to let anyone stop me. I love Randy's work ethic. Unfortunately, his positive attitude couldn't camouflage his lack of experience. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. You ready to fight for the black jacket? Yes, sir. Yes, it's the moment they've all been waiting for. Get one of these, and you are part of a unique club. I'm putting that black jacket on. No if, ands, or buts about it. But will the chance at a black jacket... Josh, do you have garnish right now? So I'm cooking seven at a time. You don't understand that? Have the chef seen red? I know what I'm doing. I heard you. All of you. What the fuck is going on? And will the pressure to survive... Of all the people, we New York Strip. I can't believe that I did that. I made a mistake. ...lead to a shocking end for one of the front runners. Mega, is that worthy of a black jacket? <laughs> Take your jacket off now and fuck off. No one is safe. What the fuck? Is this really happening right now? It's all next time. Chef Ramsey's apologizing. Just look at the position you put him in. On a mind-blowing episode of Hell's Kitchen.